Hey everybody. So if you have one of these little automatic pet feeders, uh, you know how nice they are, how convenient they are. Really worth the money. I bought this one probably four or five years ago and just recently it stopped uh, dispensing the food. It still make a noise when uh, when it was supposed to dispense the food but nothing was happening. So I took it apart <clears throat> and there's actually a little geared motor in there. Pulled the little cap off that and found out one of the gears inside was just stripped out. So I had the problem of trying to find out where I could get gears for this. Searched all over online and I just happened to stumble across this very same motor on eBay. And uh, here it is. This is the piece that was on the other one that broke. But all I did is uh, splice that connector in off the old one. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's the exact same motor. Really cheap on eBay. I got them for like $3.50 a piece. So I bought two of them. Uh, most of them are all sold out of China. But anyways, I'll uh, get that put in. We'll see if this thing works. So here's a quick uh, view of the eBay. Uh, web page here. If you just type in small DC geared motor, blah blah blah, it's like 18 to 20 RPMs. It'll come up. And uh, if you're having the same problem as me, it should be your fix. And it's a lot better than buying a brand new one. Uh, Three dollars. They're the whole thing brand new is like between 50 and 60. So three bucks isn't bad to fix it. So the first thing you need to do is pull that top off. Uh, it just kind of screws off. And then tip it upside down. And here on the bottom, you got four screws here, here, there, and there. Obviously, we'll take those out. So once you get the four screws out, you just kind of pry, pry that thing off. And then you see all the parts to it. Since I already pulled the old motor out, I had to. Uh, I put all this stuff back in, just put it together so I wouldn't forget how to put it together. But this stuff's got to come out. We'll do that next. Uh, there's just a couple screws down there in the corners. So I'll pull all that out. Okay, so I got those screws out. There's four screws that hold that piece in. Here you can see this is where the motor attaches on these two. And it turns the flap right there. That's the bottom of the that thing. So here you got a little switch. That counts how many how many times this hits it. That's how it measures it. Anyways, we'll uh, put this in, put it back together, and see if it fixed it. All right. So there's a quick shot of it back together. And we've got power to it. See if it works. It's basically uh, 10 screws and a little splice. And just reconnect that. Okay, so I've got it plugged in. This will be a minute here before it uh, starts. I've got it set for one minute. Come on, baby, work. Look at that. Sweet. It's a lot quieter than it used to be, too. Very nice. All right, that's it. Hope this helps. See ya.